In this video, we're going to talk about the My Content folder, which is part of the gallery built into Smart Notebook. My Content, the easiest way to describe it, would be like your favorites. These would be your personal favorites of items that you utilize within Smart Notebook. Um, to get to the My Content folder, first thing is to click on the Gallery tab. So the second icon on the side, I'm going to click on it. It's going to take me to the gallery. Inside the gallery, you'll see I have a folder called My Content. Currently, My Content is empty. To add content to My, uh, my Content, you simply just have to drag it to that folder. You can add any number of things in there. You can add pictures, you can add sounds, you can add video clips, links. It all depends on what you need. So in this case, I have a picture of a graph. Maybe I use this kind of graphing all the time. I can simply click and drag and drop it in here. And it's going to add it in there. And now it's part of my notebook file on this computer. And so I can quickly pull it out and use it again and again and again. It is that quick and convenient. What's also nice with it, I've got the little Twitter image here. One's big, one's small. Maybe you utilize these in a big and a small fashion frequently. I can take the small one and drag it in there and make that part of my content. I can also take the big one and make the big one part of my content. You'll notice I've got both of them, but they're not really identifiable other than saying Twitter logo. If I click on the drop down arrow, it does give me the ability to rename them. So maybe I'm going to call this one Twitter Big. So Twitter big, and I'm going to rename this one Twitter small, since it's really kind of hard to tell which one's which. Now I can make sure, oops, I renamed mine incorrectly, but it makes it a lot easier for you to differentiate which one is which. But that is all there is to the My Content. Other things that can be added to My Content, not only pictures, you can add an entire page. So maybe I want this page in my content. If I click on this little drop down arrow, there is a command that says add to gallery because I'm going to use this page over and over and over. And now you can see that page is here. So if I pull it in, what it's going to do is now I have that page twice. So if you use the same layout frequently, you can pull that page into your my content so you have fast access to using it over and over and over. 